infanticide, rape, bullying, murder, violent gangs, kidnapping. Not usually words you associate with those cute and cuddly dolphins, are they? But they're all true. This video is inspired by one of Casual Geographics where he detailed some of the darker side of dolphins, but I do think he missed out on one or two crucial points and he also failed to mention how awesome sharks are in comparison to dolphins. So that's what we're covering in today's video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Tally's Marine Tales. I'm a marine biologist. We cover everything ocean related. So let's dive into the sordid world of dolphins and prepare to be shocked, my friends. Now, before we get to the really juicy stuff, I would just like to point out that sharks are way cooler than dolphins purely because of the fact that they're way more diverse than dolphins. I mean, we're talking about comparing over 500 species of sharks to a measly 40 species of dolphins that occurs in our oceans worldwide. Sharks also vary much more in terms of their body size. So we have the smaller shark species being the really cute dwarf lantern shark, measuring in at only 20 centimeters, which is less than a ruler, all the way up to our gigantic whale shark, which clocks in at about 18 meters. Dolphins vary much less in size across species. We have the smaller species being the Hector's dolphin that clocks in at about 1.7 meters, all the way up to the orca or the killer whale, which is a misnomer because it is a dolphin, and they get to about nine meters in length. Sharks also have a range of super cool features, including their ability to sense electricity. Some species have bioluminescence. Some species are really cute and cuddle together in caves during the day when they sleep. Other species are your more typical lone rangers where they cruise around the oceans living a solo life. They also have very different reproductive systems where some species give birth to live young and other species lay eggs. So there's a lot of really cool different stuff going on between the different species. Now, when it comes to the dolphins, their main claim to fame obviously is their incredible high level of intelligence and the fairly complex social lives that they lead. You know, they always live in these groups. They have different names for each other. Some species mourn their dead. They take care of their elders. But this high level of intelligence and sociality comes with a pretty dark, scary side. So you think sharks are big, scary animals that attack and kill people. Well, Dolphins, in fact, do exactly the same thing, just for different reasons compared to sharks. And it is true that it is pretty rare for dolphins to attack humans, just like shark attacks are pretty rare. But there have been multiple reports of wild dolphins, I'm not even tackling captivity, wild dolphins attacking and sometimes even killing humans. One report is about a woman who was feeding two wild dolphins. She decided to jump in the water with them. One dolphin was not having it, decided to bite her and clamp down on her leg. She had to rip her leg out of its mouth and sustain such severe injuries that she was in hospital for a week. There's also a beach in Japan where there have been multiple attacks on humans by dolphins across a number of different years. Um, dolphins either bite or body ram people. And one guy was rammed so hard by a dolphin that he broke his ribs and unfortunately passed away from his injuries. There were two women in Ireland, who, uh, 10 days apart from each other, who were attacked by dolphins. A year later, off the Irish coastline, five swimmers had to be rescued because a dolphin was circling them aggressively. There's also been reports of dolphins attacking divers. There was one incident where an underwater videographer, Michael Mays, was pursued by a male dolphin who kept pushing him down to the ocean floor which is pretty scary and could have ended really badly. But luckily he was an experienced diver who didn't panic and he made it out okay. But there have been a number of incidents where we have these dolphins attacking people. We have to remember that dolphins are pretty big and really heavy, usually weighing in at around 200 kilograms. So if they decide they don't like you, it can get really scary and really dangerous really quickly. And scientists now also know that swimming with dolphins can be really disruptive. It disturbs their natural behaviors. They can become angry, frustrated, stressed, and this is why they are thought to attack. So a dolphin will attack because of its emotional state. You contrast this to a shark who is usually pretty cool as a cucumber. If you're in the water with a shark, most of the time it doesn't really care that you're there unless you like really get up in its grill and you try and grab it or catch it or whatever, then obviously it's gonna fight back. But usually when a shark attacks, it's because 
it thinks your food. So a shark's behavior is motivated by hunger, whereas a dolphin's behavior is motivated by its emotional estate, which I think makes it more scary. Dolphins are not only really mean to us, but they can be really mean to each other, especially the guys, especially when it comes to mating season. Now, usually there's a lot of fierce competition time when it comes to mating. Every guy wants his turn with a girl and sometimes that's quite difficult. But bottlenose dolphins have a really sinister way of getting around this. A couple of guys get together, they form an alliance, they essentially kidnap a female dolphin and aggressively herd her away from the pod. She tries to escape, she wants none of this, but they beat her into submission until she finally mates with one of them. And this process is repeated until every guy has his turn with her. And this can go on for hours or even days. Gang rape much? I mean, shark sex is not usually a cuddly affair either. The males often bite onto the females to hold onto her during the act. But these dolphins take it to a whole other level. And that's not even the worst part. No, 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 no. Dolphins have also been caught in the act of infanticide, which is where you have adult male dolphins attacking and killing baby dolphins who are not related to them because they want to ensure that their own offspring make it through to the next generation. And I'm just going to read to you an account of a marine biologist who witnessed one of these infanticide events because it's actually really chilling. All at once, the group became notably more active. The animals began circling energetically and were then observed surface rushing with abrupt changes in direction. Suddenly, a large adult male dolphin rapidly emerged in the center of the group, clutching a newborn calf in its jaws. A high-speed chase ensued as the young calf was butted, rammed, and head spun away from the maternal group by the identified male. The calf received multiple strikes to the head, flanks, abdomen, and tail stock as it was driven into deeper waters by the male. Accompanied by several female affiliates, the identified mother gave chase and managed to catch up with her calf. She then swam in echelon with the calf, positioning herself between the calf and the male as he circled around them. The male then launched himself directly into the mother calf pair, driving his body between the two animals and forcing them apart. Thereafter, the male aggressor leapt upon the calf, holding it beneath the water from above. Flanked by a known female associate, the mother moved in again, surfacing with her calf, lying motionless across her back, which she held up above the waterline for at least 20 seconds to recover. The calf was observed swimming, though somewhat awkwardly, by its mother's side once again. However, the male continued his assault, this time striking the calf hard from below, and with such velocity that the infant was launched clear out of the water. He then seized the calf in his jaws and tossed it into the air a second time. But at this point, several other large males converged on the scene and encircled the male obstructively. This calf was seen to survive this event, but unfortunately his spine was so severely damaged from the severe beating that he sustained from the male. He developed scoliosis and eight months later he beached himself where he unfortunately died just because he wasn't really able to swim properly. And this isn't the only event, direct infanticide has been observed a couple of times by marine biologists and a number of calves have been known to wash ashore with these spinal deformities. And so scientists now think it's because of these attacks um, by the adult males on the calves. Not so cute and cuddly anymore, are they? And again, when it comes to sharks, you know, adult sharks do attack and kill baby sharks, but again, this is for food. When it comes to sharks, it's all about food. Finally, dolphins are also known to be bullies of other species, and there have been reports of dolphins attacking and killing porpoises for no other reason than, than they just felt like it. They don't eat the porpoises, there was no competition for food, there was plentiful food around, and scientists couldn't really figure out why these dolphins attacked and killed the porpoises. Sometimes they're just pretty nasty killers. So, there you have it. Sharks are really cool animals, but fairly simple to understand. They attack and kill for food. Everybody's gotta eat. Whereas with dolphins, it's a heck of a lot more complicated, and sometimes they're just dicks for the heck of it. And I'm not saying I don't love dolphins. I love dolphins, I love sharks, I love all animals in the oceans, 
but it's just something I want you to remember when you cringe in fear at the photograph of a shark, but smile lovingly at a photograph of a dolphin, because very often those roles should be reversed. And please remember kids, next time you're in the ocean to always, always be careful if you happen to come across a wild dolphin.